Now, world leaders are heading to the luxury Bergenstock resort in Switzerland for a two-day summit on peace in Ukraine. Russia will not be there. On Friday, President Vladimir Putin again said that Ukraine would effectively need to surrender for there to be peace. Kyiv and its ally, the United States, immediately rejected Russia's conditions. Let's hear a bit more from our uh, correspondent in Ukraine, Gulliver Krag. Well, I think that a lot of people in Ukraine are quite critical these days of Volodymyr Zelensky and particularly his chief of staff, Andriy Yermak, who is really the man behind the idea of this summit. But despite this, most um, experts think that the idea of holding this event, which is not really a peace summit in the traditional sense of the term, but more a summit designed at showing the world how many countries are on board with Volodymyr Zelensky's vision of peace, which, of course, involves Russia pulling all of its forces out out of Ukraine. It's in a way more like a support for Ukraine summit. And it was very, very much a priority for the Ukrainians to get as many countries as possible from the global south on board and to have some kind of in involvement from China. China is not taking part. And although the Swiss side say that they've got more than 92 delegations and half of them at least represented at the level of heads of state or heads of government, um, Big um, countries from the global south, such as Indonesia and India, are not represented. Brazil is sending its ambassador to Switzerland, which is the lowest possible um, diplomatic level to be represented at. So on those terms, it's not a success. And there are people in Ukraine who've been very critical of Andrei Yermak's approach, taking on the role of foreign minister, if you like, rather than leaving that to the professional diplomats, because he has really taken on a huge amount of power in Ukraine in recent months. But so in recent days, the Ukrainians have scaled down their rhetoric a bit and talked about this summit as just a first step. Uh, they're hoping that they'll get some kind of communique out of it that could serve as a basis for further negotiations to which they've said Russia might be invited. And they've said today they're going to focus on three um, elements of Volodymyr Zelensky's 10-point peace plan, probably the ones that are least controversial, which are nuclear security, food security and the release of Ukrainian prisoners of war and Ukrainian children who've been deported to Russia. Families of those uh, Ukrainian prisoners of war have also travelled to Bergenstock in Switzerland uh, to be present and to you know, lobby for as much action as possible to be taken on that front.